this is your tricep, okay? This is the head of the tricep, this is the rear of the tricep here. And you will see this area working when we do this exercise. This is the muscle that should be working when you're doing this exercise. We're going to do a tricep push down, which is the same um, focus as doing a dip. Um, the tricep push down machine is actually the same principle. The only thing is, the, uh, w the uh, difference is, is the weight is going a different direction. Instead of, you know, on a dip machine where you're using your own weight and you're push pulling it down and pushing it up here, you get so. We're going to start with the first one. Here, which is the same uh, angle as a uh, as a dip. So we'll start here. Now, this is what you don't want. You don't want your elbows behind you when you do this exercise. You want your feet flat beneath the padding, and your knees beneath your knees and thighs beneath the padding. But also, want to make sure that the seat is at the height that it should be for you. So, when you push down, you don't want your elbows back here. That's what you don't want, okay? You want your elbows turned out when doing this exercise. So we're going to do it correctly. This is what it should look like when you're doing like that push down. Your chest should be out. Your elbows out. Press your chest out, press down with your triceps, chest out, down with your triceps, chest out, down with your triceps, then resist on the way up. You should always resist on the way up so that you get the full benefit of the exercise. Now, the other position sort of emulates the edge of the bed thing, you know, we all uh, used to do to work the triceps, where the feet come out in front and you plant them out in front, and that's a good thing. Now, the other thing is, again, you don't want your elbows back, and starting here isn't the position you want to go back to uh, during your reps. Uh, when doing your reps, you want to go as high as you can seemingly go. You don't want your shoulders up near your ears and your elbows as high as your head. This is just the start position that you're in because, you're because of your uh, body being seated. So we're going to start again. Again, chest out. Now the difference between the two exercises is at this position you get to hit the rear part of the deltoid at the back of the arms. Also, never lock out at the bottom. Always keep the elbows slightly bent. Keep the tension on the muscle. And keep your rhythm nice and slow without pausing.
uh, lies uh, with the cross cable machine. Now, in most gyms, they have this particular machine. Some they have, uh, which are already set up to do chest presses and cables, uh, flies with. Uh, so what we're doing here is we're going to set it up. So we have our bench in the center. We have our um, the back of our bench almost upright to to a straight position, but just maybe five percent. Um, uh, of, of an incline. Um, so what we're going to do here is, and we have the cables, which are here. Now, not all machines are going to have this extension. You know, not everyone has this extension. This extension is helpful. So what we're going to do is we're going to use these extensions to our advantage. We're going to take the cables. We're going to sit back. Again, we don't want our feet out here. We want our feet shoulder width. Okay? It's always important to have good posture when doing exercises. Once your head back, we're going to bring the cables here. Okay, we're going to bring the cables here. We're going to bring them out. And in. Bring them out. And in. We're not going to bring them up here because that's not what we want. That would be the incorrect way of doing it, okay? So you want to be aligned with the upper chest. You're already on a slight incline, so you're able to align yourself with the upper pecs. 